beautiful Friday morning. First, giving honor and glory to God who was ahead of my life. It is only because of him that I live, move, and have my being. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is Shantara. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing, holding on to hope and faith, you guys. Look, we are making it. Next week is the last week of school, y'all. Seems as if everybody has come unraveled. Seems as if everybody have, has come unraveled, especially TJ. TJ is at school doing some weird things. <clears throat> Fighting, kicking, picking up chairs. Like every time I pick him up, it's something. She keep coming to the car and just he's doing this he's doing that and if we doing this next year and we're gonna have to think about medication and all this and all that and i'm just like look tired going through my own you know and so i have been kind of like before god just like i don't want to do this no more like i'm tired of putting out videos I'm tired of putting out videos I don't want. I just kind of like want to go on a hiatus. It's so difficult to do what God is telling you to do or do or even just put out a message or something like that because I'm surprised at how my messages are manifesting. Like the message I put out about babies and weddings and proposals, I'm like I'm literally watching it manifest like tremendously and it's like whoa you know but I was telling God like I just want to go on a hiatus like I got all of this stuff going on at home with the kids like you know I'm very overwhelmed and I'm in the fire myself you know what I'm saying and he reminded me of Jonah you know how when he told Jonah to go to Nineveh and Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh like you see these people you know acting a fool you see how these people are like i don't want to go over here you know what i'm saying moses lord you want me to keep trying to lead these people and all they doing is complaining and you know they're very ungrateful like i can't even mourn my sister like what in the world like i don't want to do this you know what i'm saying and so god reminded me and i believe God asks us to do things even when we don't understand or he asks us to do things even when we're in our own trial and in our own fire is because he sees the outcome. He knows why he's asking us to do certain things despite how we feel. He knows the bigger picture better than we do because all we're doing is walking by faith and not by sight. So he knows why. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, ugh, I want to be like Jonah and just kind of like run away from this whole thing. Like, I don't even know the full of what the assignment is or why you've chosen me, but I just don't want to do it right now. I'm in the fire myself. Like, come on. Like, really? And so <clears throat> at the end of the day, it boils down to obedience. Because if you don't do what he's asking you to do, He's going to keep pressing you and things are going to, he's going to allow certain things to happen until you do what he wants you to do. So after a few days of pressing, I'm like, no, I just want to go on a hiatus. No, 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 no. This is the message that I'm supposed to be giving. There are, there are a few of you guys who are watching these pregnancies and these um, marriage proposals and these weddings who have been waiting and you've been in expectation and God is saying that he doesn't want you to feel like it's some type of cruel joke. He's saying that he doesn't want you to feel like he's dangling a promise in front of you that cannot be obtained. You know what I'm saying? He's saying that he's showing you these things and he's keeping it before you because he wants you to be reminded that he's no respecter of person and what he does for one, he will do for the other. God wants you to keep your heart softened and he wants you to keep the faith. He is not the type of God 
that will try to play this cruel joke on you to have you you know continuously see the baby showers and be invited to the baby showers be invited to the weddings and you know he knows that you're you know waiting on a marriage promise and he knows that you are waiting on a baby are waiting on a positive pregnancy test and all of these things he's not that type of guy that's not what he's doing he's not trying to play some type of cruel joke but he does want you to keep the faith which is why you keep seeing the pregnancies which is why you keep seeing the weddings which is why you keep seeing the proposals he doesn't want you to start feeling a certain type of way you know what i mean and um i'm gonna give an example for me for me an example for me is i always see wonderful fathers if I'm at the park or something like that, I'll see like fathers out with their kids, you know what I'm saying, playing with their kids and it it makes me feel a certain type of way, you know, because I dream of that for my kids. I dream for my kids to have a father figure, a hands-on father figure in their life. Not only that, um I live up under this Mexican couple, right? And the father is so, y'all, he is so amazing. Like, when I tell you they have like a three or four year old little girl who has Down syndrome and they have two other middle school kids which go to Terriana school, he always got that baby. He always holding her hand every morning when I'm pulling up. He got her, probably taking her to daycare before he go to work, picking up the kids. Terriana had an assembly yesterday and you know he was there he was there with his kids and had his arms around his daughter like god always highlights like i'm always presented with men who are you know with their kids and hanging out with their kids and you know it it can seem like it's a cruel joke you know what i'm saying because i'm just like wow you know how amazing is it? I'm just like, this guy is such an amazing father. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's always there with his kids. He's always hands-on. Like, he is there. You see him with his kids more than you see the mom. And so, you know, sometimes it can be very, very difficult for me to watch You know, it's very hurtful because I believe that there is a promise for me and my kids that we will have, you know, a spiritual leader in our home, a priest of our own home that kids will have. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of the times when I see it, you know, it's heartbreaking and it shreds me to a thousand pieces. But God is not showing me this continuously for nothing. I believe that he's showing it to me just like for what I said for the message. He's no respecter of person. What he does for one, he can do for the other. You know what I'm saying? And he's only keeping it before me so that I can keep the faith and know that it's going to happen for me too. You know what I'm saying? If I don't just harden my heart and if I stay, you know, with a heart full of faith and knowing that he's no respecter of person my time is coming as well i just have to keep the faith and um last night at work he brought to my attention hannah you know hannah was expecting the baby for all of those years and she was being tormented by penina and last night what stood out to me is what he said in the word he said was it was two it's two things that stood out to me one once she saw the priest and she was up there crying and saying he thought she was drunk and she was saying no i'm not drunk i'm just you know believing god and I, I want a baby and he said get up and go your way the lord has answered your petition she did not waver in what he said she automatically believed the word of the lord she did not doubt that that's what God was going to do for her. He said when she got up, her face changed, her countenance changed. She went on about her business. She began to eat and she received the word of the Lord that he was going to do this thing for her. The second thing that he pointed out to me was 
It was in the process of time when she went home, he knew his wife, they ended up having sex, but it was in the process of time is when she conceived. So that tells me there is no, there was no date. Nobody said, it didn't say nowhere in the Bible how long it took for her to conceive this baby. So when the time is right, I, the Lord, will do it. We're on his timetable. We're, you know, we have to wait on God. We have to know that what he wants for us and in his timing is the best timing and it's gonna work out perfectly in the process of time. It's in the process of time that he's testing our heart. It's in the process of time while he's getting it together and working it out. It's in the process of time to see what your heart do while we're waiting on the promise. It's in the process of time, our heart posture. And so that's what he gave me last night. So I just wanted to share that message that's what he pressed upon me. I don't know who it's for. I know, you know, that he gave me that example. So I just pray that you guys enjoy your weekend. It's Friday. Thank God, y'all. We are, when I, my baby be asking to go to school. I mean, he be asking, is this school? Is this school? Is this school? He don't be wanting to go to school every day. I said, he not going on Friday because Friday they get out at 12 o'clock. I'm not fit to get off work, go drop him off for a couple of hours and then go back and then pick him up. No. So Thursday is going to be his last day, but I'm going to throw my baby a end of the year party. Well, I'm going to do it for all the kids. An end of the year party. Put balloons and everything all over the floor. And when he get out of school, you know what I'm saying? His favorite is nachos. Make some nachos and get some cookies and cupcakes and stuff like that. And I'm going to throw him an end of the year um party even though he's struggling to get through it but that's what we're gonna do so that's where we at you guys i pray to god that this message helped you or encouraged you in some type of way i pray to god that the lord just sees me and you know continues to keep me while i'm continuing trying to be obedient and doing what he asking me to do so enjoy your friday i love you guys we are still psalms 24 for the rest of 24 and until the next time inspire be inspired i love you guys god bless you good day